order. At the heart of the conversation on women's rights over the last year has been the need to believe women. Yesterday, the Attorney General, former Attorney General, presented evidence, texts and emails, that show a campaign by the Prime Minister to intimidate her into politically influencing the outcome of a criminal corruption investigation. But the Prime Minister is saying that we shouldn't believe her or her evidence. Why is the Prime Minister telling Canadians that we should believe all women except his accusers? The Honourable Government House Leader. Minister and our gover government governs versus the approach of the previous government. We on this side respect the work of committees. We on this side respect the work of officers of parliament. We on this side respect the independence of the judicial system. The Justice Committee members have asked for witnesses to appear. Witnesses are appearing and they are providing answers. And it was important for Canadians that the former Attorney General be able to speak openly at the Justice Committee. The Prime Minister worked with the current Attorney General to ensure that client privilege would be waived as well as uh, cabinet confidence. Order. The Honourable Member for Calgary Nose Hill. The Liberal lines on the mountain of evidence that pre were presented yesterday by the former Attorney General are, her dad is pulling her strings. Why didn't she say no more forcefully? Why didn't she report it sooner? She experienced it differently. You know, gaslighting a strong woman, especially one with a mountain of evidence at the behest of a fake feminist who, through his actions, uses women instead of supporting them, sets women back. Why aren't all women in that caucus and their so-called feminist allies calling for the Prime Minister's resignation? Mr. Speaker, we on this side have confidence that the Justice Committee will have witnesses appear. Witnesses are appearing, they are answering questions. Mr. Speaker, we on this side have confidence that they will be able to do that work. We on this side also know that the Conflict of Interest and Ethics Commissioner is looking into this matter. We have confidence in our officers of Parliament. Mr. Speaker, we also know that there are two ongoing court cases. We on this side have respect and confidence in the independence of the judicial system. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.